Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Chloe and today I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update on what's happening in my life, what has happened and what I plan for the future. I know a lot of you guys are new here and it's a perfect video for you to get to know me a little bit better and know where I am in life, what I'm doing. So as some of you know already, um, I am originally from Switzerland but I haven't lived in Switzerland in five years now. I was traveling for two years after high school and then I moved to Berlin where I lived for three years because I was going to film school there. I was studying in Berlin and that was the main reason why I decided to move to Berlin. So now that I'm done with school and college, some of you have been asking, are you happy to be done? and what did you learn from it so yes i'm really really happy to be done it was an amazing experience but i'm really happy to get started with my life and do my own thing and a few things that i've learned from school is that no matter what you decide to study in college and i know a lot of you are probably in college or going to go to college or thinking about going to college and are not sure no matter what you decide to study in college I can speak from my own experiences that no matter how passionate I was about filmmaking there were still classes and areas of filmmaking that I had to learn and I had to submit assessments for that I was not passionate about and I didn't like and I didn't enjoy the course um, I think the course as a whole was really nice uh, I really loved my school my school by the way is called uh, DBS Film Berlin I know a lot of you guys have been asking and it's also a music school and a screen acting school. So there was a lot of actors, performance classes, and then I was in the film production course. And about two weeks ago, I posted a move out vlog and a lot of you were wondering why I decided to move out and why it is that I decided to go back to Switzerland. It looks like you had so much fun in Berlin. Like, why are you going back to Switzerland? Um, they only knew me from living in Berlin a lot of people and they don't really understand so here are a few reasons why I decided to move back the first one is well originally I'm from Switzerland so it wasn't really like moving to a new place again it was more like coming home last summer when I came to Switzerland to visit I met David who's my current boyfriend and since last summer we had been living a long-distance relationship and even though it went great and we did get to see each other very regularly it was not a long-term solution for me and for him either personally right now in terms of relationships i want to be uh, with someone that i can hang out with whenever i want or more spontaneously at least that uh, i can decide to see or not see and where we can just be more spontaneous about when we decide to meet or not meet uh, whereas when I was living in Berlin we had to plan ahead he had to take um, days off work I had to organize the trips and the flights and just flying back and forth was really exhausting I took the train once it was just a lot of traveling and it was really hard to adapt between being together 24 7 and then being alone so it, it really was not easy and that was not something that I wanted to keep on doing like long term. Also, it didn't really make sense, I think. Also, my studies in Berlin finished and so that was the, actually the main reason why I uh, initially moved there. So for me, what I had come there for uh, was over. And so even though I still would have had opportunities in Berlin and I had made a lot of friends there that I really really love and I already miss a lot it was just not a place I could see myself staying in um, because my family wasn't there, my boyfriend wasn't there and I think that after living alone and, and being abroad for so long I realized the importance of being around the people you love and the people that love you back also and your family and I realized how important it is how much of a better person it makes me as well like being alone was a great learning experience because it really allowed me to work myself and do a lot of self-development right now I don't feel like I need to be alone anymore I have found a good balance between being alone, focusing on my passions and then spending time with people. 
Another reason why I decided to come back was the summer. Ever since I left after high school, I always came back in Switzerland in the summer because it's so much fun here in the summer. It's so warm. There's the lake, the mountains. I live very close to nature and I never feel like I need to go anywhere. And I really enjoy it. It's that time of the year where I can see all my friends um, that I haven't seen during the year. And so, it's really really fun and a lot of events are happening also during the summer so i was used to always come back so for me it's not really weird to be back right now because anyways even if i had stayed in berlin i would be here right now because i hardly ever stayed in berlin or anywhere else during summertime and then the last reason why i decided to come here was because i am in a transitional phase in my life where i just finished college and starting my own business working on youtube and i just want to have a structure and something that's stable for me i moved three times while i was living in berlin in three years less than three years even and i didn't want to go through moving again like re-finding a new apartment signing a lease and all this stuff i wanted to get my foot in the business world and get working and see um how i can generate a stable income online and from the things that i love doing and then from there see okay can i afford a rent here if yes then i'm gonna get an apartment but so i decided to come back to my parents so that i could have a few months to just settle and really think about what it is that I want to do, what's working for me, what's not, where it is that I want to live, because I also haven't been in Switzerland for five years and I'm not sure I'm gonna like it long term. So I really want to make sure that I'm gonna love it before signing a lease and then after six months a year realizing this is not really where I want to be right now in my life. Also, a lot of people asked, um, how are you, Chloe? Honestly, how are you doing? And that touched me so much because it was really sweet of you for asking. And some of you guys said I looked sad in my moving vlog video, which to be honest, I was not sad at all. I had an amazing weekend. And even though I had to say goodbye to friends, I had a really great time on my last weekend in Berlin. I think I was just very, very tired. And when I'm tired, my eyes tend to get shiny and a little closed. So maybe that's why. Uh, but I'm really happy to be back. I'm so happy to be here. I'm honestly really really happy and I had a good place. I had a lot of stress with my finals with uni and now that it's all over I feel like the stress is gone and I feel a lot more relieved and I'm just working on things that I love every single day and I'm so thankful to be able to do that because that's something I've been wanting to do for so long. These past three years in Berlin I was studying having different side jobs and then next to all that I was doing YouTube and that was just too much and too little time to focus on what I really loved doing which was making videos and creating content. That's why I, I think I feel really happy because I'm doing activities that I love and I'm really focusing on my passion right now. Some of you also asked where are you in Switzerland because I know some of you guys are from Switzerland and do watch my videos. So I live close to the lake, um, about an hour away from Geneva, so it's in the French part of Switzerland and I really love it here. It's really close to lake and mountains and it's amazing to go swimming in the lake, running by the lake, running in the mountains, go hiking. So it's a really nice area and that's where I grew up, so I love it. It's amazing. I feel so grateful to be living in such a beautiful area. If I'm going to settle, I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to see how I like it here and what I decide to do and then what I do for work so now I'm a full-time freelance content creator on YouTube and I also have um, some work also on Instagram I am working on a secret project right now I hate when youtubers say that but I'm working on a project which you guys are gonna know very very soon and then I also continue selling clothes on Depop and upcycling clothes which has been really fun and then finally, future plans. Woo, what's gonna happen? To be honest, I don't know. I like to leave things quite hope open, but um, I don't have any travel plans this year. I have a few trips, like a weekend in France, for example, for a birthday, but I'm not really going on big trips right now. I only know I'll be here for most of the time. I'm going back to Berlin in October. 
for my graduation and I might go back to Berlin also in July for the ethical fashion show called Neonit but that's not 100% sure, October is sure so it's just like maybe a few weekends somewhere in Europe but not like a massive one month holiday I don't have any travel plans as I said I was doing a lot of back and forth between Berlin and Switzerland for the last eight nine months uh, to see my family and David I also went to Greece and Morocco for my documentary and for a yoga retreat so I think that I've done my fair share of traveling for the past year and I'm quite happy to actually be home and not have to pack and unpack every single week or every other week another thing is a lot of people asked if I was gonna move in with David so David is actually living with some roommates in a very big apartment and I could be moving in but to be honest, I'd rather stay at my parents because I think that we're both very clear, David and I, that if we once move in together, we want to have our own apartment and not be sharing it with other people. So we're not sure yet when exactly, but maybe by the end of the year or something like that. And yes, that's definitely one of our plans. Do you guys want kids and how many? Um, yes i do want kids i think david wants as well i would love maybe two kids i think that's a great number i was two with my brother and it's always gone pretty great so i mean why not another question was if you could live anywhere in the world where would you live so i think it depends if we're talking about right now in my life right now or in the future I think there are different periods of my life where I could see myself living in different places right now I'm really happy here so I don't really feel the need or the will to go somewhere else I would see myself maybe live in New York for a couple months or a year maybe once um, when I'm still young or maybe on the uh, west coast in the US uh, California is really pretty um, and I also loved Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii in 2015 for three months and I had a really good time. I think Hawaii is absolutely gorgeous and I love how much nature there is there. The only thing with living in Hawaii or even in the US in general, well, first of all, it's very complicated because I don't have a US passport, but that's not really the point. The main thing that would bother me is when I decide to have a family. I think I would be quite sad if my kids cannot grow uh, around their grandparents. And that's something that I had when I was a kid. I was always with them. They were taking care of me a lot of the time. And I want my kids to have the same kind of bond with their grandparents as I had with my grandparents. And uh, I think it's quite important. And yeah, I love just being close to family when it comes to the day that I will be building my own family. And I also really love Spain and Portugal. Um, so potentially I could see myself living there. I'm quite open. I mean, I've been living in different countries over the past five years and I've never really been super unhappy in one point. You know, I think that once you settle in and you have a place you love and you feel home, um, I'm very adaptable when it comes to where I live so I'm kind of staying open to possibilities and what life will bring and then the last question is where do you see yourself in five years and where do you see yourself in ten years this is a question that everybody hates because we never really think about it so I had to think about it and uh, I think in five years I will be 28 years old and I will be running my own business. I will maybe have some people working for me and helping me in what I do. Um, I will maybe have built my own uh, company. I'd love to one day start my own ethical fashion company or something along the line, like a upcycling company or something sustainable at least for sure. Maybe I will get married. I don't know if 28 is still quite early or maybe I will be in the plan of getting married. I'll have my own space that I've decorated and made home for myself. I don't know where I'm gonna be in the world. Um, I'm still gonna be exercising and working on my passions and spending a lot of time in nature. And then in 10 years, I hope that I will be married by then. I hope that I will have kids or at least be in the process of having kids and 
I will still have people working for me, maybe more people working for me. I have I will have a a business that works great and where I can have more of a passive income so that I can spend more time with my kids and family than working constantly and I will be more family oriented than I am now. Now really uh, my priority is my career and my job. Uh, I think in 10 years maybe my priorities will have shifted a little bit and I would love also to travel with my kids and show them the world but yeah that's really something that I could see myself do um, in 10 years of time. I think I will be more settled by then. I think, I hope I will be also living in my apartment or home that I loved and where I hopefully want to settle forever or for a long time. Also one thing I'd love to do is that the day I have my own house I'd love to have a garden where I grow my own fruits and vegetables so that's hopefully also within five years and I'd love to have a home that's uh, fully sustainable and like off-grid and these are kind of like my future long-term plans so yeah um i hope this video was interesting and you got to know me a little better thank you guys so much again for asking the questions on instagram if you have more questions i also do a live stream once a week on instagram so stay tuned for that i always post in my story beforehand to let you know when the live stream is going to happen uh, it's usually on sundays or mondays and yeah i hope to see you guys there thank you guys so much again for watching and i'll see you very soon bye